friends, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Miss Elaine. And I'm Miss Tara. Hey, do you remember what kind of animal our friend is who likes to dig, dig, dig into God's word? That's right, he's a hedgehog. And do you remember his name? That's right, it's Hamilton. Now, Hamilton's a hedgehog, and something that I know about hedgehogs, they're nocturnal. That means they sleep all day and they're awake all night. Sounds like my teenage boys. When we call Hamilton, we don't want to scare him when we wake him up. So let's call him in our gentle voices so we don't scare him. On the count of three, let's call him together. One, two, three. Hamilton. Oh, oh good. I don't think he's scared. No, no, I think but he's coming. Boy, wow, my shirt. Hamilton, what? what going on there? Who's this? Hello, Hamilton. It's so good to see you. Friends, there's something different about Hamilton today. Can you tell me what? Yes, he's dressed differently. Those are good guesses, friends. What's he wearing? Hamilton, I think you're dressed like a shepherd. Am I right? Oh, I'm right. I wonder why you're dressed like a shepherd. Friends, why do you think Hamilton's dressed like a shepherd? Does your costume have something to do with the big God story today? Well then, I think it's time that we take a look in the Bible to see what part of the big God story Hamilton is so excited about today. Are you ready, friends? Awesome! Let's stand up and sing our Bible song together. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Well, hi, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Lucas, and we have such an exciting story today. Boys and girls, have you ever seen a sheep? I've got one. Isn't that cool? Now, do you think that sheep are soft and furry? If you do, rub your head, rub your hair. Doesn't that feel soft? This one is so soft. Maybe you've got a toy pet, um, fluffy sheep at home. I hope you do. Do you know what a sheep says? Can you tell, say what a sheep says? Say it with me. One, two, three. I think most of you tried it. Try it again. One, two, three, ba Good job, good job. Here, little sheep, you can sit here. Now, boys and girls, who takes care of sheep? Someone said it. Try again. Everybody, if you know who takes care of a sheep, you can say it. Ready? Well, lots of you have it. A shepherd, that's right. Have you ever seen a shepherd? That's right. Hamilton was dressed like a shepherd today. And I think that's our clue. Now, a shepherd takes care of the sheep in his flock and he carries a big stick. It's called a staff. And what happens is he uses a staff to protect the sheep from danger. And if a sheep falls over, he can use a staff to lift it up again. Just like that. Well, I'll show you a picture of what Jesus might have looked like as a shepherd. You see the picture? He's holding a staff. And boys and girls, Jesus is our shepherd. Did you know that? Jesus is our shepherd. Now, you might notice that there's some little lambs around here. I'm gonna put the sheep down. Because over here, there's a sheep pen. And what a shepherd does is he helps to get the sheep into the sheep pen at night. So we have to look for some sheep. If you see any sheep around here, um, you, give me a, you give me a thumbs down and say, right there, right there, okay? Because um, I need help finding them. I got one. 
Oh. This is actually a pretend sheep, you know. But we're gonna put it in the sheep pen. There. Oh, and this is, this is what a sheep looks like. I forgot to tell you that part. But we'll leave it here for now. Um. Um. Oh! You're right. Thanks for telling me. Now, there's one more. It's a really, really hard one. But remember, a shepherd loves his sheep. He doesn't want to be missing any of them. So one, two, three, let's find some more sheep. Here, sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Where are you, sheepy? Anybody see a little sheep? Oh, you're right. I found it. It was hiding under the bushes. There. Oh, now all the sheep are safe in the pen. Isn't that better? Yeah. We got all Hamilton's sheep back. Well, did you know that the Bible tells a story about a shepherd? And I'm going to tell you about that right now. It's right in the Bible. It's a part of the big God story. You see, one day, Jesus used a story about sheep about sheep to teach the people how the shepherd knows every one of his sheep by name. Because when the shepherd calls the sheep, right away, they hop right up. And because they know what his voice sounds like. Just like you know what your mom, your dad's voice sounds like. So let's practice, okay? Um, now I can't call all of you by name because you've got different names. So I'm gonna say friends. So you pretend that friends is your name. And when I say friends, you jump up and down like a sheep. Are you ready? Friends! Good job, good job. Hey, some of you didn't get up. Try that again. Ready? Hey, friends! Oh yeah, that was good. You see, Jesus told the people that as soon as the shepherd goes out of the pen, then he as soon as the sheep go to the pen, the good shepherd, he goes along in front of them and he shows them the very best way to go. He leads them to food and water and everything they need, he helps them. And when it's time to go to sleep at the end of the day, they go back into the pen and he closes the door and he lays down in front of the door. That way he keeps them safe all the time. Well, people listen to Jesus because he said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Boys and girls, Jesus knows you. He knows your name and he loves you. Jesus is my shepherd. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, you know every one of us. You know our names. You know when we're hungry. You know when we're scared. And you love us all the time. Help us, Jesus, to listen for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good job, boys and girls. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, bye, bye. Isn't that so comforting to know that Jesus is our good shepherd, and he always cares for us. Let's practice our new memory verse that tells us that God is with us. Just like a good shepherd, it goes like this. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. You wanna do that with me, Miss Elaine? Yes, let's do okay, it together. Let's teach him again. I am the, the Lord, Lord your God. God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. Friends, let's do it all together now. Ready? I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Joshua 1, 9. I sure love hearing you all say that verse. Today, we learn that Jesus is my shepherd. Let's say that together. Jesus is my shepherd. 
And remember, God loves you so much. And we sure do too. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. And wait.